Hello and welcome to Complete. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own Siren 5 rocket model. I'm going to make the rocket model in this video. In the next video, part 2, I'm going to show you how to make the stand and some other elements like add a light, so stick around for that video. In both videos are going to be made from materials that you can find around your house, and if not, then they're very cheap to purchase. In this video, it's going to be very highly detailed with the tips, tricks, and techniques that you can use if you want to make your own Saturn V rocket. This here is film of an actual Saturn V rocket and is what I'm going to be basing my model off of. So without further ado, let's begin. For the rocket that I'm going to make today, it's going to have the dimensions of 1 and 3 fourths of an inch for the width of the rocket. This section here, 6 inches, 3 fourths inches, 1 and a half inches, 3, three fourths inches, uh, 1 half inches for this, and 1 and 1 fourth inches for the top section here. So first off, I'm going to start with making the large portion here, the 6 inch part. So I'm just going to mark at the base here and I'm going to cut across and to make the cylinder of the body I'm just going to roll this piece of cardboard. Now that it's all rolled up I'm going to make sure that it has the correct diameter of 1 and 3 fourths of an inch. And once I find that it's the correct length, I'm going to cut the excess off and glue the ends together. Now with this step done, I'm going to use the same process and do the next two. One quick tip you can use when you have the correct length and uh, that diameter of it is when you can peel back some of the cardboard away. So you can see this thin paper-like material at the end and close it off and put glue on this end here. And what this allows you to do is get a more stronger and crisper attachment between the two ends. Another tip is it's easier to fold with the grain rather against it. What I mean is that the cardboard has these ups and downs which gives it the cardboard its strength. And if you fold against the cardboard, it folds, uh, it makes these ugly kind of lines, unorganized. And if you fold with, the, I guess, the grain of the cardboard, you can make more neat and organized lines rather than the jagged lines that you have in this fold. All the main pieces are done. It's time to do the next step for making the intersections between each each one. And to do this, you want to choose two, so I'm going to choose the largest ones. And what you want to do is you want to find this one here, um, for example. And you want to have the, you want to make a strip the same width as the diameter of this here. So, you just mark it up with a pen here. And you cut the strip. And now you can make the length larger or a smaller depending on how uh, sloped you want this angle to be. So for me, I'm going to have it about this length here, and I'll show you this afterwards. But for now, what you want to do is you want to put this tube in kind of the center here, and you want to mark the sides. And with the sides marked, you want to fold them. Okay, and now what you want to do is you want to just see if the length between the two are pretty good. And now what you want to do is glue the ends together. Okay, now that you have this done, the next step is to make a, uh, have a piece that connects this here to here. And you want it to be the same width as this section here. Then duplicate this so you have the other side. Then simply glue these sides together. And 
then now that all the sides are correctly put in place, it's time to do this and to do this you just make a triangle and then glue them onto this. So just mark it up, cut it, and glue. With all the sides attached, it's time to glue this piece to the bottom. Next, you just need to do these steps to the next two. Okay, and now to add some more details. For the top part, I'm just going to be using simply a toothpick. And for the bottom part, I'm going to give it some more details like the fin and we'll go from there. So for the top part, I'm going to see how much of the toothpick I need, which is about right here. So I'll cut this off, add a drop of glue, and attach it to the very top. Keep in mind that this model is going to be painted, so any marks that you see will be painted up. And now for the fin part, I'm going to make simply a fin with cardboard, but um, it's going to be on a hump because that's what a real rocket looks like. It looks like this, and this outline is basically what the hump is supposed to look like, and is what I'm gonna add onto my rocket model. So that's what I'm gonna do. So first off, I'm gonna make the hump, and to do so, I'm just going to cut out like a cone shape on this piece of cardboard, cut it out, and then fold it into shape onto the rocket, and then make the fins afterwards. So here's the cone shape outline. And you want to cut this out. So you just want to fold it into its shape and glue it onto the rocket. And once this is done, you want to do the fin. So just mark it out and then cut this and glue it. Then do this three more times. Now with the majority of this rocket finished, it's time to make this more flush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hot glue as the filler and just smooth it out. A good way to do this is use the hot end of the hot glue and kind of rake the glue so it's smooth with the cardboard. Now that it's smoothed out and everything, it's ready to paint. And to do so, I'm going to hit it with a black layer and add some white later on. Buddy. Okay, now with this done, I'm gonna go inside and do the white on it. And um, obviously, I'm not good at this because my hand is black now, but that's okay, I'll head inside. Okay, now that the black and white are painted onto the rocket, I'm going to do some more details like uh, add gray paint to these wings here, gray paint at the top here, write United States with red, write US along these strips here four times, and then above those do flags, and add some black dots, and that will be it for this part one video. A tip for writing on a surface like this is to use a big book, like so. And this will just support your hand so when you're writing, uh, it comes out neat and not sloppy. And with that, this part one video is done. so it looks like it's launching. You can find that video at the end of this video or in the description below. Also in the description, I have some information about this video. 
So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.